what is up today people it is jeremy back again for another video um you know last time i got a little long-winded so i'm gonna not do that today promise so today i'm coming on um with a little bit of a rant so i apologize in advance but um i'm to this point artistically where i see the value in what i do I see the value in what others do. I see the value in hiring the right person for the job. And I see the value in hiring someone that you have a relationship with. Not just someone who says they're good at what they do. Not just someone that might have a style that you like. It is so much deeper than that. I feel like a lot of people see a style they like on Pinterest or Instagram or whatever. And they look for that style because for whatever reason, which is fun, that they connect to that style. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But what I am saying is like, find someone with that style that you're looking for that you can connect with. Uh, my style's a little darker, obviously, than most. If you've seen my work, if you haven't, stop what you're doing, go to my website. I'll wait. Not really. But um, it's a little, I don't want to say it's dark. It's just moody. It's contrasty. The colors are deep and rich. Uh, at least that's what I'm going for. Uh, and that works well for some people. And some people prefer, you know, brighter and lighter. And that's fine. I can do that. I can. Um, it's just not where I'm led to do it. And that is not where my creativity finds itself, I guess. Uh, when I'm editing a photo, I just always look for those shadows and those contrasts. Um, and that's what I'm saying today. Find someone you trust. You don't take your car, you know, to the mechanic that you've never heard of, that you have no reviews on. You don't just drop it off and fingers crossed that works out really well. I mean, your life might depend on that service. Um, and life is short. I mean, it's just really short. And I've gotten into film and that has really helped me understand the importance of printing but just photography in general just capturing your lives and you can do some of that stuff with your phone absolutely what i'm saying is at some point sometime you need to hire a professional and i don't mean jc pennies and portrait innovations and there's no offense to those places but like don't do the box store stuff have someone who's going to evaluate and appreciate your opinion, your style, your ideas, and not just put you in a, in front of a pull-down backdrop and tell you to smile for the camera. Um, anyone who works with me, hopefully, will say, and I've heard this a few times, that it's an enjoyable experience. Um, I'm not stuck up. I'm not going to be real dry. I'm going to cut up. I'm going to give you a hard time. We're going to have a good time no matter what else happens. I'm going to be that person that you can bounce your ideas off of. I'm going to be that person that takes that stress off of you on your wedding day specifically. Um, I'm going to be that guy ushering those people where they need to be, getting loud if I've got to get loud. It is not my job necessarily, but that is one service that I offer to all my bride and grooms um, or all my couples that isn't a price tag on. There isn't a price tag on. Um, that is just something I try to do to help facilitate today. I want my couples to be relaxed and themselves and enjoy the experience. Like I have a very photojournalistic approach. I've said that in the past. Like I don't want to be all posy and you know, and we can do that. Sure, absolutely. Um, but so everybody else is doing it. Let's just have a good time. Let me capture the day, the way it happens, those genuine moments, those real feelings for one another that you have that you're expressing in front of your friends and family that your family's expressing for you in those moments. And this can be on anything, your wedding day especially. But, I mean, this could just be a family session. You laughing and playing with your kids. Or if you don't have children, your pets. Or if you don't have pets, just being with one another. Taking the time to see each other. No phones, no electronics. See each other. And film has gave me that. Um, I haven't developed my film yet. Which is making it even more exciting. My mom this weekend uh, was asking or telling me she's so excited to see this photo that I took of Austin. Um, it's going to be really funny. I really, really hope that it develops well. 
Um, I don't remember which camera because I have two film cameras I've been trying and testing. Um, and I've shot a couple different styles of film uh, to see what I like best. But it will be funny, if nothing else. And as long as I can't just pull up my phone and look, oh yeah, there it was. It's, it's a memory. It's going to be tangible. It's going to be authentic. And it's going to be so much more to me and my family. Like No one's ever... I mean, that's not true. I was saying no one's ever, you know, that excited about a digital file. That is absolutely not true. What I'm saying is, like, the waiting process, I guess, is exciting. And the not knowing is kind of exciting. And I don't have my photo made a lot, so, like, I don't, do, I don't experience that. And I'm very big on setting down, editing my images for my clients, and getting them delivered quickly. I'm not rushing that. I don't want anybody to ever think that I've hurried that process. I don't. I'm just, I'm just efficient in, in, in the way I do things. Um, but I can also see the reward in waiting a little while. Uh, so I'm kind of stuck in the middle, and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Would you rather have your wedding day delivered within the first week of saying your vows, or would you like a couple of weeks to like kind of let the excitement die down and then kind of relive that? Um, I honestly see the pros and cons of both. Not really cons, but I see benefits of both. Um, but uh, uh, tangible film that's coming I, I'm going to do a whole video probably I, I can talk and talk and talk about film probably and I'm not that experienced in film at all so like I'm not a, an expert it's just something that has my attention currently and has my passion tied up in it currently I really want a medium format film camera um, it's probably the cheapest camera I've ever wanted to buy uh, <laughs> and um, I've got a couple found that I really like I'm just waiting to justify it, justify that purchase, um, because I don't know that it's going to work out. I'll develop this 35 millimeter first, I suppose, um, before we head feet first in. But, anywho, find someone. Call me. I will explain to you how I do things, why I do them the way that I do. And if my style, for whatever reason, is not for you, I will try to help you find someone that I trust that will also give you an enjoyable experience. Um, Please, message me on Instagram. I love to hear from new people. Uh, use that DM feature. Send me a message. Uh, Facebook, I'm not on there a whole lot uh, or on my business page, on Facebook or on my personal page. Uh, I really do like Instagram. Um, I'm on Twitter some, but not a lot either. So I have all the social media. You can go to my website, and there's links to all of it below, my Pinterest, everything there. So love to get connected with some people. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, and hire someone. I'm, I'm going to hire someone. I'm going to have someone take my photo. I really don't want to do that, but it's time that I turn the other cheek, so to speak. Uh, so I want to have one of my good friends. I haven't decided whom yet. Probably I've got a good idea, but uh, take my photo, uh, and I'm gonna I want to live that experience. It's only fair. It's only fair that I do that. If I want to ask anybody else to do that for me, um, but message me. Let's work. Let's do something fun. It doesn't have to be the same old stuff. And if you see my work, it is definitely not that. So, until next time, message me. Let's plan a big photo shoot. Let's do something fun together. Let's collaborate. If you're a professional watching this, love to work with other professionals, photographers, videographers, makeup artists, salons, boutiques, whatever. I, I, I made a logo this week for a clothing company out of Colorado. Um, so, I can do a little everything. I can edit for you. I can make a logo. But photography is my passion. It's where, it's where my heart's at. So, until next time, thanks for watching.